So this is a, um, uh, a just a video on how to um, what happens and how um, the process I go through when building a, um, a TFT dash. So um, when you place an order um, uh, on the website, um, you'll probably notice that it goes through um, a couple of main phases. And the first update you'll probably see is a stage one assembly um, but prior to that you'll probably see um, that the parts get ordered and usually a day later the parts arrive so um, I use a number of different suppliers to get hold of these things but um, uh, this pretty much is in total all the parts that that I um, that I use um, to build a TFT dash so I'll go through one by one um, so um, this is currently for a current order which I'm um, uh, fulfilling at the moment. So this um, is basically uh, what I get and wait for um, for all the parts. So some fairly um, standard off-the-shelf stuff. Um, big box here is the display. So that is a 7-inch 50-pin uh, display. Uh, that's your TFT display which is in there. Um, just thought I'd just lay this all out because this is essentially what I get. This little black box here is a the Bluetooth unit, um, which um, I will mount and solder onto that board. Uh, this thing in this little orange bag is a um, is the power converter or power supply. So that takes your bike's 12 volt um, power and converts it down to a nice steady uh, 5 volts and um, and is capable of delivering up to 5 amps. Um, so this is. An upgraded supply I've now started using. Um, very familiar 16 gig SD card which goes in the Raspberry Pi and that houses the operating system and the TFT Dash software. Um, this um, little board here is the um, real time clock unit and memory module. Um, that is the thing that stores all of the, uh, the settings on the TFT Dash. There's a little chip in there which has got some storage capacity for, for storing um, some, some settings. Um, this here is a cable. This is actually a very thin um, HDMI ribbon cable. And what that does is connect the Raspberry Pi up to the display. Um, a part of this display, um, I haven't opened it yet, but a part of this display, one of the things that it comes with is a TFT control board. Um, and that's got a HDMI input. So. Yeah, uh, inside the TFT dash is just a simple HDMI connection connecting the Raspberry Pi to the, the display. And what we have here is the Arduino. So this is the microcontroller that um, using this board, which I will, um, I will uh, make up, um, and that will be um, the next part of this video, um, is basically what talks to your bike and uh, reads all the signals from your bike. Um, I load um, some software or firmware onto this um, to uh, to base it to get it to read all the signals from your bike, and um, and this this real time clock module is also mounted onto this board. So um, and then here we have a um, which is actually just a USB cable, but um, I actually just use the, the, the basically I just need a, need a four core cable which is capable of driving driving the buttons. Um, and uh, and is the also gives me a USB connector which I use um, at the back of the uh, TFT dash. Um, so this is the bit that doesn't actually come um, as part of the uh, of the order. Um, I've actually got a number of these which um, I have ready to go for building TFT dash. So this is the the bare board um, that um, I've. I've designed and, and have had um, manufactured by a, a, a PCB house. Um, so this contains the, the schematic, which I spent quite a while designing. Um, so literally all I have to do is when an order comes in is just to mount all of the components um, onto this board. So you can see uh, quite clearly here is um, you've got a whole load of 10K resistors, you've got a whole load of 5Ks and you've got some different values there. Um, and up here you've got a basically that's a, a transistor which goes there to mount the to, to control the fan there's a voltage regulator um, which i'll explain later and these two this blank space here is basically where the the clock module goes and the bluetooth module goes um 
and then once I've mounted all of the pins, which will go here, that literally just sits and mounts on top of the Arduino board. Um, and you have the bike specific connector. Um, so you'll probably notice the at the back of the TFT dash is the connector that plugs into your bike. Well, that's the connector which um, which goes in there. So I'll, I'll go through this in a bit more detail. Um, so that is, um, um, in fact, what I'll do, I'll make this a video series um, just so that um, it's not going to be one massive long video, so I'll break this up a bit. Um, so yeah, this is um, after an order's placed. This is this is uh, what happens. Um, these are the parts that I'm waiting for um, to uh, to 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 start building a TFT dash. Um, there are obviously some other parts that go along um, on uh, are connect are basically soldered onto this board, which I'll detail uh, on the, at the next video, which will be. Um, starting stage one assembly and I'll go I'll go through what 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 actually happens what I do on the stage one assembly and why I call it a stage one assembly so um there we go